Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, I just wanted to show you what I'm experiencing here. I'm trying to take part two of the Plant Island series. And of course, I like to start my series with a, just a quick look at what's going on in my Plant Island. Let's see if we can get it to open up. I've been trying since 7 o'clock this morning to get this to open up. And nothing's working. Yeah, so since about 7 o'clock this morning, the game keeps crashing. Not crashing, it won't even open. So I'll just kind of show you real quickly. It's going to close again. So. I did finally get my uh, other uh, Christian bush monster to hatch, and so now I have three of the sugar bush. Just can't collect my money here. I got diamonds to collect! Ah! <laughs> so that's what my game has been doing since 7 o'clock this morning. So I'm going to just go ahead and go to the email, uh, log out, email, okay, all right, you don't need to see my password here. Okay, so, um, diamonds. As you see, I have 70 diamonds on an island that I'm not even playing. Um, I've gotten some good rewards on my scratch tickets. It's giving me a lot of diamonds. Maybe it wants me to play it more. I don't know, but it's giving me a lot of diamonds. And I do have uh, friends and fans using this game code to enter themselves and to use it as referral. And I would prefer that you didn't use my referral, my friend code on this island for a referral. I'd rather that you give those diamonds to my fan of the day. I really appreciate when you give your referrals to the fan of the day. And I understand that you want to say that I referred you to the game and use my other friend code. But use whichever one you want. This one or the one from my fan of the day is great. So, again, we're just I'm just kind of randomly pick... Some people here. I'm not trying to disregard anybody, um, and you're all going to feel so disregarded. I don't mean to do that. Uh, I'm trying to remember who we did here. Before. Let's go look at Wasabi. Wasabi 32 MC question question mark. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Plant Island. We're going to try and uh, get through a bunch of these. So Wasabi says hi on his island. So let's take a look, see what's going on. First, I'm going to give him a like. We like to like our friends' islands. They always appreciate likes. You like getting likes, and so do they. So let's give some likes to our friends. <laughs> Here's Wasabi's Island. First thing I notice is he does have a Unity tree, so that's excellent. It means his decorations and monster lights can be placed anywhere on the island. And he doesn't uh, have anything going on here. He's trying to breed another sugar bush. There's the clamble, and the clamble that's in the um, hatching. He's got some money. This boy's got some money. He just baked a turkey and some pie. So that's really impressive. I'm glad to see him baking and leveling up his monsters. I do uh, suggest that you concentrate on leveling up your big guys. The big guys are the Enterbrots and the three element monsters like the Bogart, um, T-Rox, 
make those guys level up because they're going to make you a lot of coins so you can decorate later and but he's got decorations that make the monsters happy he's doing a good job with decorating his island with just the right decorations he's got a couple extra flappy flags which aren't necessary but he must like the way they look if you um, at one point, maybe he had them, so he just placed one next to each monster, but you can delete a couple of those. Just keep one. You don't have to have three, but if you like them, keep them. So, hi to Wasabi, and that's Wasabi's Island. Okay, let's find somebody else to look at. My other suggestion is don't ever clear all of your rocks and all of your trees, because when they do limited edition islands like the one we're in right now on um, Earth Island. They always turn those great uh, rocks and trees into some neat features. So Let's look at Nintendo Super Player. He's been hanging out with us for quite a while. Okay, let's go to Plant Island. Okay, well, he's got quite some decorations here. Let's get a close-up look here. What's going on here? So, yesterday I asked the question, and you can answer that question today if you didn't read it in the comments. So my question to you is, are you a moneymaker? Are you a decorator or are you a conductor so do you like making money do you like decorating your island or do you like making the music just right so I think he's got a good combination of everything of course I always want to see more enterprots because enterprots make us more money so I would you know encourage him to get another couple enterbots for sure but he's got some good three element monsters going here so they're making him some money he's leveling them up you can see by the size of the t-rocks that he's being leveled up and the enterbot is probably pretty high up in the level he's got a gas um a time machine of course here's that harpsa tree that i tell everybody isn't necessary on plant island but he's a decorator and he can keep it because he likes the looks of it, but it's not one that we need to have on the island. Just for your information, it's an extra decoration that they try and get you to collect your reward if you place that on your plant island. But if you wait and place that on uh, another island that has a monster that likes it, then you get your reward a little bit later, just not when you have your plant island. So his island looks great looks really great um, of course my recommendation is I wouldn't be decorated so much until my I, my monsters are leveled up more but you know this is this is what makes him happy this is what I like do what makes you happy this is you know very pleasing to him it's pleasing to me too so um, do that and I'm sure he's got a unity tree here right there in the middle so we look for the unity tree, he's got a time machine, makes the music and the animation go faster or slower. He's got a mini mine, so he's been a player that started since March 1st. So that's Super Nintendo Players Island. You can check him out. Oh, I forgot to like him. Okay. Okay, let's get another one in here. So anyway, you see my friend code here. Don't use that friend code, please. Don't enter yourself. I'm really um, struggling to <laughs> keep my list into a manageable list that doesn't make my game crash. My other game, I lost my other game's friend list because I had too many friends adding themselves and I couldn't get in to see them. So do add yourself to my other game. I can't get in and see you, but you can see my islands. And that code is 6404. 94 bi 64094 bi so go in and check out my big islands um,
Victor. Let's go check out Victor's Island. Victor's another one that you see a lot of really good comments from. And Victor takes good care of me. He looks after me. So let's go into Victor's Island. And you saw a list of uh, players in my um, intro to the islands. And so if you want friend codes for any of these, um, they would be on that sheet until I start getting into some of the newer players. Like uh, Garrett, I don't think I have his friend code in that list. I'll make a new list for you. Okay, so I'm going to like his island. So here's Victor's island. Victor, again, has some of everything. So Victor is a moneymaker. He is a decorator. And he's a conductor. So let's see. He's got a sugar bush. Excellent. Way to go, Victor. So we're just going to scope your island out here. Oh, the bottomless pit. That's the um, uh, secret like for sugar bush. So that's good to know. That's good information. He's got three Enterbots, and he looks like he's got them leveled up pretty high. Maybe they're level 15s. We're not going into Gold Islands today, so we're not going to go look at that. But. So, what's he breeding here? T-Rox and Enterbrot. Hmm. He's trying to get a gas. I think he's he hasn't had one yet. I, I think he's a little discouraged by that. But keep going, Victor, because believe me, <laughs> I probably... Tried breeding 200 times to get a third guest, and I have two. One I bought, one I bred. But keep trying, it, it is very difficult. But his island looks great. Did we see the Unity tree? Yes, there it is. Time machine, then you can play with the sound a little bit. But hey, this looks really, really great. Um, so the only other thing that I've noticed is he's only got one bakery. Wow, that's really surprising to me. Uh, that's very limiting uh, to only have one bakery because at the level he's at, he can have, oh, three or four, five when you get high enough. Uh, perhaps he's high enough. I, I'm forgetting the level uh, that you're at when you can add the fifth bakery, but five bakeries. And so you can bake a lot of food. He's collecting a lot of money. He should be bake, 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 bake. Baking uh, food and leveling up his monsters, if not on this island, on the other island. So, um, Victor um, gets more bakeries. <laughs> That's my, really my only suggestion for you. Your island looks great. Um, so, I'm really excited to see that you've got Sugarbush. Where is he? There he is. Sugarbush. Excellent. Okay, so let's go to another island. It's hard to wait, isn't it? We're a patient people, all those that play My Singing Monsters. Um, okay, well, I'm scrolling here. I'm going to... I just opened up a new game. Um, Big Blue Bubble, the makers of this game, uh, just flashed on my screen um, The Muppets Show. Uh, app. Uh, it's, I would say, identical <laughs> to My Singing Monsters, except it's the Muppets. It's played exactly the same way, and I just placed a couple of the Muppets on stage, and their music sounds good. The graphics are amazing. Oh my gosh, you have to check it out. It's amazing. Well, Elsie Easton, I think you guys should know her. She's my sister. I've got her hooked on this game. She started playing around mid-May. And what have I taught my sister? Money maker. <laughs> she is, oh my gosh, level 28? Oh, she's doing amazing. And that's because she made her plant island a money maker. You'll notice she doesn't have any extra decorations. Um, she's got sugar bush. Her enterbrots are sleeping because they're so noisy. She's baking, look at all the pies. So she is, she's always baking. She's created an island that is making her lots of money. So it's not the most beautiful island. So if you're a decorator, you probably don't like this island. It's not great sounding, not much there going on, uh, except for when Christian Bush starts playing. 
something to hear. I better give her a like, of course. It's my sister. Um, but this is the money-making island. This is what's going to fund and help you build all your other islands. And then you can go back. If you look at my plant island today, you'll notice I have two Entebrots. At the height of my game, I had uh, 14, 14 Entebrots. Yeah, and it made me lots of money. They were all level 15s. And so, obviously, you can tell she's leveling them up. She said every time she levels up a monster, she bakes another pie because that monster's giving her that much money. Um, so she's got the unity tree, so her decorations can be anywhere on her island. Uh, she's, uh, I think she's baking, trying to, let me think, what is she baking? Huh, uh, yeah. <coughs> breeding, oh my goodness. Furcon and, oh, 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 yes. She's trying to create a... Uh, a Bogart or a Clamble. So that's why she bred something with the fur con. She's trying to create a Bogart and Clamble, but she needs to add a noggin. Um, oh, she's got her noggin, so that's probably what she bred. A noggin and a fur con, I believe, are going to give you uh, the Clamble, I think, or the Bogart, one of the, one or the other. So that's what she's just tried breeding over here and ended up with the fur, fur corn. And um, so that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to get some more monsters on the island, her Clamble and her um, uh, Bogart, so she can start breeding, making some more of the uh, Sugarbush. There's Sugarbush. Isn't he great? I just think this is just great. I love the sound that he adds to the island. I can't wait for the new island that they're going to give us that we're going to put him on. So that's going to be really exciting. Okay, so that's my sister, Elsie Easton. She's in the list. Check her out. <clears throat> You'll notice my list um, when it opens up here, when it decides to open up here, that there are no players called new player in my list. I took them out this morning. Um, new player, I don't know who you are. If you don't give yourself a name and then let me know who, what your name is. <laughs> I don't know who you are. So in the comments below, if you were a new player and I've deleted you, change your name, give me your friend code and your game name, let me enter you. I have a lot of names in here of people I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go through the list. I'm going to post a list of people I don't know. Um, let's look at my car here. Okay, so here's Mike's Island. He's, um, looks like he's a, a decorator and a moneymaker. Um, and a moneymaker... I would say, you know, gosh, you know, three Entropots are pretty good, but I would like to see a few more on there, but, you know, it, it looks nice. Uh, <laughs> one of the other things I noticed is he's got the floofy nest, which I believe, <laughs> and I don't have the figures in front of me, is 50 million coins, and... I'm not sure that I would spend 50 million coins when I have an Entebrot that's not leveled up. It takes 10 million coins to bake enough food to level up your monster from 0 to 15. So that's just a number to keep in your head. 10 million coins. So if you bake uh, 10 turkeys or 2 cakes, that's enough money to take your Entebrot from level 1 to level 15 and it's an amazing investment um, now that you've got Entebrots on the island and you've made them happy you don't have to buy decorations when you add another Entebrot to make them happy so he's got the time machine and the unity tree he's got all the right decorations a lot of flappy flags that looks pretty cool in the background they're not very expensive that looks nice got the mini mine so um yeah floofy nest
This looks really nice in the middle. I don't think we have anybody on this island that likes that feature. I'm forgetting. Sorry, I shouldn't even say that until I know that for sure. Have that opened up in front of me. But he's got a ghast. He's got um, five bakeries. And of course, I can't tell if he's baking. I only can see if you're baking if food is ready and it's just sitting in your bakery. So let's give him a like. Okay, we're going to do one more. I'm going to uh, find uh, one. This is a fairly new person that's been commenting in our site, but this is Can of Soda. And this is the uh, family that I did the tribute to the three little girls. So I'm just going to scroll through my screen and find Can of Soda. So please don't add your name to this list, to this friend code. Uh, give me the information, let me add it, because I put you in my list of um, super fans and fans of the day, and if you are not in my list, if I don't have your game name and your friend code, you will never be a fan of the day, because I only put fans of the day if I can publish your friend code and your game name to everybody so they can like you, they can give you referrals, diamonds from their referrals and whatnot. So here's Can of Soda, level 20. And we're going to go look at Plant Island. So here's Plant Island. And uh, it looks like uh, <laughs> they're taking some advice from me, or maybe this is the way they played before they even heard my comments, but they're doing great. Money makers, the money makers are sleeping because they're noisy buggers. They've got five bakeries. Um, they've got all the right decorations. Got a time machine, which, you know, is not that much money. It's unnecessary, but he's got three little girls that I'm sure. <laughs> the little guys love to speed up the music and slow it down, and that's... Awesome. So that's a good play function for the kids to play with sound. The kids like to get in there and collect money. And uh, they've got a ghast. And let's see what they're breeding here. Um, Clamble and Bogart. Hmm, I wonder what they're breeding. Well, I think we all know what they're breeding. And uh, nothing in the nest yet. So I'm wondering if they've got a sugar bush going in the breeding station. So I bet they're going to comment below for us. Let us know what they've got going on in their breeding station. I'm anxious to hear. I'm thinking it's probably a sugar bush. Because if it was something um, less hours than a sugar bush, the Bogart and Clamble would have been hatched already and collected or placed. So, <clears throat> so that's their island. It looks great. Um, keep baking, 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 baking. I can't stress that enough. Always, always, always baking. Um, always leveling up your monsters. Try and set small goals for yourself. What I would do is say, you know, I would sure like to have, uh, oh, let's say 10 million coins. So once you reach 10 million coins, so I'll tell myself, okay, once I reach 10 million coins, everything I make past 10 million, I'm going to invest in baking. And then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm baking so much, and my bakeries are full, and then my coins are collecting and going, okay, and then eventually you're going to say 15 million. Anything past 15 million coins is going to go into my bakeries. But um, set small goals, set big goals. Uh, but if you dedicate your first island especially to money making, wow, what a difference. If you take a look at my sister's island, level 28, and she's just been playing since mid-May, that's pretty amazing. Um, and then you can go back and decorate your island. Like I started to say about my plant island, it started out with uh, 14 enterbrots. And now I'm down to two because now I'm going back and I can play with sound a little bit. I'm still not into decorating that much. Um, I've got some big decorations on my plant island. but I'm going to show you one more time.